Aiden Fucci, who has pleaded guilty to the unaliving of 13-year-old, at the time, uh, 13-year-old Tristan Bailey in 2021, went back into court today for a hearing prior to his sentencing. This apparently is going to be a three-day process, um, so we may not actually hear um, him being sentenced until Wednesday later in the day. Fucci came into court, looked like a just like a feeble little little thing. I, he's 16 now. He was he was 14 at the time of the unaliving. He had zero people sitting behind him in the courtroom, no support whatsoever. Uh, the parents and the grandparents of Tristan Bailey were there, obviously, with some of Tristan's friends uh, supporting them as well, and uh, they just look so beaten down. I'm so glad they're not going to have to sit through a trial. I, I just can't imagine what they're going through. So, um, God bless them. You know, we'll be praying for them that after this they can have some some type of resolution some type of closure although I don't know if you ever get closure when your child is taken from you so brutally uh, so today they came in with two hearing two re well I'm sorry there was three motions two of them were kind of linked together one was uh, discussing the pre and post conviction behavior of little Aiden Apparently, he's been very disruptive in jail. He's been manipulative and physically, um, he's been getting into fights, and he's been manipulating other inmates in regards to taking their commissary. Commissary? Commissary. So, apparently, he's just a little con man. Um, he's also been physically disruptive with the guards in the jail, and um, lots of threats of violence to others. The defense wants that taken out when the judge does his consideration of sentencing. They also want him to not consider the prior bad acts that little Aiden had while he was in school and for all the wrongdoing that he did in school, which was um, handled with school discipline. Apparently, there's been a lot. Uh, they've got teacher testimonies, things like that, that they're going to bring in for, him to listen, for the judge to listen to before he makes his uh, decision on sentencing. Judge came back and said, nope, to both of those, uh, let's hold off. You know, I, this isn't a jury trial. I'm a judge. I kind of know what to consider and what not to consider. So the judge said, let's hold off till sentencing. We might take some of these up tomorrow. But I'm going to consider all this, and I'll get back to you what how I'm going to move forward. Um, so basically, he just wants to hear what it is and see if it's something that he should consider. Obviously, this little... Uh, sociopath needs to be locked up because he's just he's not even learning his lesson in jail sitting in jail around the inmates I guess that he's oh I'm gonna stop okay I'll stop I'm I can't anyway um the third thing they wanted brought up or the third motion they had was that there was a dr. Pritchard who is a state expert psychologist his evaluation of Aiden is based strictly upon court records all discovery material, the autopsy, and so they wanted that brought out, or they want wanted that taken out of consideration, and the judge says no, he denied that. So, here's what's going to happen. Tomorrow, the state's going to start calling some witnesses. They're going to have some victim impact statements. Wednesday, the defense is going to be bringing some stuff forward, and then I assume when they're done, we're going to hear the judge sentence. So, what we're going to do, we're going to be live tomorrow on the Letitia Stapp case. And we're listening in on the jury selection on that because they won't allow cameras in the court. All we can get is audio. I really don't want to take away from that. So, I think what we're going to do is tomorrow night after I get off that live stream, I'm going to go in and try to piece some stuff together for you guys. Do a real quick summary. Um, put some stuff together so you can hear the base, you know, like some key points of things that occur in the courtroom tomorrow in the Aiden Fucci trial. And then you can watch that tomorrow night. Um, and I'll do the same on Wednesday as well. I just feel like I've committed to doing this stout uh, jury selection, and I need to stick with that. And so, um, gosh, if I had two live streams, I would do the other, but I don't. So, with that being said, stay tuned, and I will see you guys at 9.30 a.m. tomorrow morning, Central Time.